Evans Acoustic Reunion. Well, the name of the band uh, comes from actually a visit and a get-together that Izzy and I had after not playing together for about 25 years where we pulled some acoustics out, had a great time playing some songs and both kind of realizing at the same time that, man, it was time to bring some of these tunes back. The concept of the group, I would say, is uh, very inspired by um, a CD that Peter Cetera had released about 10 years ago where he had done some of the tunes he did with Chicago, but with mandolin, guitar, and bass, and he did it acoustically, and of course back then they were calling that Unplugged. Describe Ernie spontaneous. Well, I, to make it so I recall receiving a phone call from Ernie a few years ago out of the blue saying he was offered a job to host a radio show on WFCF in St. Augustine. I immediately thought he was crazy, and I was convinced of that when he asked me to host it with him. Today, we're hosting three radio shows a week on three different stations. Maybe spontaneous is putting it mildly. Ernie and Izzy are both multi-instrumentalist. Their music has taken them all over the world, performing everything from bluegrass to jazz. Well, I keep on thinking about you, sister. Izzy probably understands music, at least the music that I like and the vision that I had more than anybody does. Growing up listening to the same kind of music was really vital and I think a real key component to this entire project. It's great to have them in the band. And I remember how much I miss that family style harmony, being able to pronounce words the same and the same length of time and all those little detailed things that you want to work out in other groups. And just having the same dialect, it really makes a big difference. And we can see that in the look on the faces of our audiences when they're hearing the three harmonies blending together. Debbie's an amazing person with an enormous love for music. I'd also have to say she's probably the more responsible one in the group. Most successful groups were the ones that were vocally balanced and she does that with us being able to sing high parts and especially able to sing tenor over Izzy which is something I'm unable to do. Debbie plays the bass, she plays a style of bass that her and I actually built and put a lot of thought process into how we wanted that to happen. We took all the things from bass players that, that I've had before that I've really liked and put them all together and, and to, to have it all in one person like that is a real treat musically for me and that's what I get night after night when we're playing together. So 